Well, it's another day. It's another technique video day. Now in this video, I want to work on the left hand. Um, this technique, uh, I don't think there's a name for it, but uh, it seems to be called the Assad technique. Sergio Assad, one of the brothers thought of it, came up with it, I don't know. Um, I saw it in uh, Scott Tennant's uh, Pumping Nylon book, probably, uh, the, probably one of the best technique books you can buy. I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out. So this technique is designed for finger independence. Start very, very slow. Um, make sure that your muscles get really used to the movements uh, of this technique because it is pretty difficult. And if you speed up too fast, you're not really going to take any of the benefits. To start off, I would probably use the first string and the third string. You're going to want to start the fourth finger on the first string and the first finger on the third string, and then the third finger on the first string, and the fourth finger is gonna go on the third string, and then the second finger is gonna go on the first string, and the third finger is gonna go on the third string, first finger on the first string, and then second finger on the third string, and then it repeats. <laughs> that was really hard to say. So the key to this technique is to not lift your fingers until they have to be moved. So if your fourth finger is gonna be playing on the first string, keep it there until the third finger has to be used. And that will help you keep the exercise legato. Most people, what they do is that they play and they lift their finger off and it kind of really defeats the purpose of the exercise. Hold the finger on the note to create the passage as legato as possible. Now, as far as the right hand, um, it doesn't really matter really what, what you use. I personally like to use thumb on the lowest string that I'm working on and then for the first string alternate between I and M, but it, honestly, it doesn't matter. Once you get really comfortable with it, you can definitely move on to the first string and fourth string, first string, fifth string, and first string, sixth string. Now that one is really hard. If you find that this, this exercise is too difficult on the fifth position, you can definitely work on this exercise in the seventh position or ninth position to make it easier because the distance of the frets are closer together. But you definitely wanna challenge yourself and work your way up to even the first position. Now again, work on this technique really, really slow. If you want to, you can even work on the left hand by itself so you can build the muscle in your left hand. And once you get comfortable with this exercise, start using really quick movements in your left hand to kind of simulate preparation. Something that I talked about in the tremolo uh, video. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link somewhere up here. Well, that's it for me. If you record yourself using this technique, give me a tag and I'll check it out. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and, and, see you guys later. Peace. Oh, we should have done the 16 first.